It really is every day I question whether or not we should just watch Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That's it. On this. Uh, dude, that's Are you a familiar show. with the show at all? Did you watch I mean, it back like, in the, the day? The theme song is amazing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But the rest of the show, I don't know. It's... I've never been in tune with the whole Adult Swim thing. There was a moment where you just had to be in that moment. I mean, I was, in the, it, I was in the moment. I, I was with, right there with you. Aqua Team was one of those shows where I was like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I showed everyone I knew it. And every single person was like, you're out of your mind. This is not funny. This yeah, is I don't know. Shit. It's just fucking weird. And it's one of those things where I... It reminds me of like Rick and Morty and a yeah. couple other things. And granted, you know, I haven't I've never seen watched too much. one single episode. I've of Rick seen and three Morty. episodes. I put all of them on my iPad for sure. my my trip. So maybe I'll give it another shot. Maybe we'll see how this goes. But my thing is with Rick and Morty, with a lot of the Adult Swim stuff, I'm not sure if people actually like it or people just think they're supposed to like it and just are awesome. all in on the joke. Dude, Rick and Morty's the shit. I can't believe you're saying this. Hmm? Damn, cool, great. Just dis. But I mean, you d- agree with me about Aquatine, right? This is weird. I mean, all adults is weird, but I think Rick and Morty stands out. Well, yeah. so to be fair, Aqua Teen, I don't think their original like concept with Aqua Teen was to make something the masses would find broadly appealing. Like when they made, somebody was doing like fucking acid yeah. when they made Aqua Teen, and they were like, 1% of the population is going to get this, but if they do, they're going to laugh their ass I off. I feel Rick and Morty is in that same boat. I've seen clips of Rick and Morty. I can't render an opinion on it. I've only yeah. ever seen like small clips, and I was like, I can see how people would think that's funny. Rick and Morty's hilarious. Is it? Yeah. What about Aquatine Aqua Teen Hunter Force? I liked Aqua Teen Hunter Force fine in college, but it was just the absurdity of stuff and Carl and them fucking with Carl. So Rick and Morty's not just the absurdity. And I mean, they tell Morty. you a story, right? There's yeah. like a narrative thread there, whereas Aqua Teen Hunger Force was literally like, Meatwad wants to use Carl's pool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was the entire 15 minute episode. <laughs> what was See, it? It's genius. Chat, chat, let me know. What was it when uh, Carl had a. Had a belt that played so- songs. Who's, who's it was, it was a foreigner. It was a foreigner belt. <laughs> you had right? double vision, and it gave everybody that. <laughs> no, the best. The, the quote that I love most is the one where they're talking to the Moon Knights, and he's like, "They're hey, they're what's up? We're not live. I don't understand that. We are we are not live. Oh no! Oh, you, I hold on. I'm coming. Are we going to the wrong place? Yeah. Great. Um, are we recording on OBS though? Yeah. Fantastic. This is a little fun extra stuff for the YouTube viewers. Yeah, it'll be fun. And the SoundCloud that. listeners. They do. You know, the SoundCloud listeners always get the short end of the stick. They do. I talked about it yesterday, how they don't get to hear all the amazing clips that we played over and over again mm-hmm. for the last five years. Yeah. And there's no possible way. There's no possible way they can know what those clips are. They don't know. Because it's not like we stole them directly from YouTube clips. Yeah, exactly. And put them on our show. So they'll never know. You don't really know the full majesty of this show unless you're watching it live with us on Twitch.tv mm-hmm. slash Kind of Funny Games. Which you Monday can do. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m., uh, here, sometimes we're live, sometimes we do the entire show, and we don't know that we're live, and it's fun. It's fun, and it's super fun. Apologies. I was talking to my brother uh, right before the show went, and I, like, you know, the, Kevin's been gone. So it's mm-hmm. been, it's always hard, because, like, he's thrust into this world that he <laughs> doesn't normally have to deal yeah. with the intricacies of. He's, 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 and, he's swimming, though. And, he, and he's been swimming, he's been swimming, but today was the first time I was like, you good? He's not. We're totally good. I, I got all this stuff, right? My theory is that we didn't change the destination. That wasn't it. I was surprised. Wow. Cool Greg did it right. I'm checking. I'm figuring it out. Cool. Maybe the internet's just down. But I look at it at Cool Greg, and I'm just like, I feel like Kevin, Kevin complicates everything just a little more than he needs to yeah. to make sure that when he's gone, oh. everything is going to go 100%. to shit. 100%. There's like 15 machines over there yeah. that all do one thing. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. And he, Cool Greg's like, what does that machine do? I was like, I don't know. I know no it does something. Knows. There's something called the Hyperdeck. Know. Well, the hyperdeck, <laughs> the hyperdeck is interesting because yesterday, obviously, we had an issue recording uh, a very great episode of the kind of fun. So I'm hoping we can bring that back because we had oh, yeah, Greg's friend Poe on. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's, looking real good. it's lit. That was a great episode. Uh, but it reminded me that we have redundancies, but there's a third redundancy that we we could utilize that I think we'll utilize when we do Gamescast and, and GOG. The GOG today, Got Gamescast tomorrow. You're Fantastic. Live. We should hey, we're hey live everyone. Now. Sorry about that. Uh, you missed a great seven minutes. It was probably the best seven minutes ever, so you're going to have to go watch this on YouTube. It's good news. You can do that. It's unfortunate. If you guys want to see what you missed, go to YouTube.com slash kind of funny. Subscribe to our channel. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, I think I'm verified now. Can we check? Am I verified? Check out my Instagram and tell me if I'm verified, and then immediately check Tim's, and then for comedy's sake, let's check back with Greg Miller's Instagram and see if he's verified. Do you like everyone that's been reaching out to you saying you Nick, what you're really stuff? hurts me? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I open either. up to you as a friend. You've never had a little brother. So let me explain to you how this works. Okay, we're brothers now. 
and brothers fuck with each other. Brothers are the person. Thank God he said each other. <laughs> brothers are the people that you tell your most intimate secrets to, knowing fully well that that's going to come up when everyone gets drunk at Christmas. Yeah, they're just going to use that against you. So just be so careful. So in this narrative, mm -hmm. at, we're going to be at Christmas with. Okay, so I a am bunch not verified. Family. Greg is not verified. Tim Hold verified on, on this Instagram. This is getting shown yet, right? Like, mm -hmm. calm down. All right, so here's my Instagram at Nick underscore Scarpino. You guys can follow me there. Uh, I am not thirty three thousand followers right yeah, there. Yeah, thirty three point two. Don't fucking marginalize my two hundred extra followers that just. Oh, okay. How dare you? Seventy four point four. You have more Instagram followers than I have Twitter followers. I know it's you embarrassing. Monster. It's almost yeah, like I like yeah. Instagram, everybody. You should be following me. Again, scroll down. Yeah, if you want to see down, everything that goes into Greg's body, follow him on Instagram. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hey, today, porridge. Isn't scroll that up. exciting? Scroll up. What Fran the goes in his body, too. On? What are you doing? Cool, Greg. Yeah. Refresh the page. Sorry. No, it's not you, buddy. Never apologize, Cool Greg, except when it is your fault. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? Did Instagram finally say this enough This makes enough? sense, everybody, as you remember yesterday mm -hmm. on the pre-show for the Game Over Greggy show that you may or may not have seen due to internet issues. Oh, that was a great show. I complained about the fact that my Spider-Man video was, like, struggling for views. It's not even on my main page here. Yeah, that explains it. Instagram, stop your persecution of Greg Miller. Do Verify think, me. Let the videos roll. Do you think it got blocked? Wait, what? Yeah. I don't, I don't probably because of the sound. Yeah, it, probably. Because of the Spider-Man theme. Yeah, yeah they're trying to hold us back, dude. It's weird that Instagram has better uh, copyright claiming technology than YouTube. Yeah. Don't, Maybe don't, don't, that's don't, why. Don't poke them. You're not verified. Please show me Tim Getty's uh, page. Wow, man, I'll tell you one thing right now. Look at that beautiful that, blue. Look at it. Is it oh my how, God. how close it can brings we get out to my that? eyes. It really is the color of your eyes. I it's just almost want, like they designed it for you. I'm glad you're enjoying this moment. I want you to really enjoy it because I've been going through and reporting every one of your fucking posts, and they're going to get you on something, you <laughs> fucking jerk. <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. Again, who is who's the little brother now? You know? I don't know in this analogy. I don't know either, because I'm older than both of you, but I'm both clearly both your little brothers. I didn't ask for this. It just happened. Actually, I, I did you ask did for it. I did actually it. submit. You did ask for it. You asked, but you you know what you did is you asked for it and then you let it sit. And I think you must have let it sit a month before you told me I could do it too. No. You claim it was mere hours. Then where's my blue check? I told Greg Miller the moment I saw the article, I told Greg Miller. This is a Greg Miller ass thing. I'm like, I want to get Greg Miller. Listen, if Tim there's one thing I know about Tim is that he yeah. and I are different in this. It's true. Tim wants all of us to be on that level because then we all collectively look then cooler. Then why is he has, he's happy as a pig and shit pit right you now. I mean, I'm kind of happy, so but it's just because I know that it's like... <laughs> it's <laughs> eat me alive. Yeah. You two are. I, you're the two old Muppets up in the balcony and you're just well, commentating on my destruction. Greg, it's, it's the small victories in life. Do you see what I'm saying? It's, this, it's like when I accidentally win at a Let's Play or at a party mode, knowing nothing about the game, that makes me happy. Because I know that's See? what annoys all of you most. Mm -hmm. When uh, Tim gets verified on Instagram, you, you're going to get verified. No, but on some real shit, though, it might be because you you have, like, copyright claims or something. Is that a you thing? Should, I, I don't know. I don't know why I just venomed that, but... <laughs> oh, you're, you're giving me more... Oh, venom. We're seeing that. We're seeing that. Because, I mean, I don't think that I have any copyrighted stuff on I don't think I have copyright claims. Because you, you do... I mean, I mean, we don't know how this fucking works. Here's what Only I think. Instagram Somebody I, I didn't you like great school works at fucking Instagram now, and it's a conspiracy. It's my worst mm. nightmare. It's my worst nightmare. I actually think to myself, I'm like, what if I piss someone off that works at YouTube? Is that why... Is that why? You know? Why mm -hmm. would I have more subs? Yeah. Yeah. I think about that sometimes. Yeah, like, maybe they just don't like my attitude exactly. toward porn. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Or maybe it's just we don't do the kind of content. I do, that I do think about it every once in a while. Just like, I mean, we're growing. We're doing great on YouTube. Oh, games just hit 240, but, by the way. Yeah, Congratulations. 240,000. Yeah, I just don't understand. Awesome like, because I feel like we do good work. We I do feel great like work. For the, for the most part, people enjoy us, <laughs> but it's just the same people. <laughs> I'll tell you this no, right now. No, no, uh, again, I talk about this all the time, and it is a narrative I'm not trying to push on anybody, but it is the fact that we are a podcast company. Mm. We we think of ourselves as YouTubers. We bought this giant set. Cool, girl, can you get the door? We bought this set. We did all this nice stuff. Uh, we really could just be fucking recording into a bunch of iPhones, be making more money even, some would say. But I think it's the fact that the, the, we get a lot of new people, but whenever you talk to somebody, oh, man, I just started listening. They're always listening. No one's watching. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, That's fair. I, I mean, we do a lot of long Twitch form content. And again, right that. now, you on your tractor, you in your Ford Ranger truck mm. on the highway, I need you to get home and go right to yeah. patreon.com slash kind of funny games. I need you to get on uh, patreon.com slash kind of funny. I need mm. you, if you got Amazon Prime, to use it for that Twitch sub. You say, I don't watch Twitch. I don't give a shit what you watch. We just need the free money they're offering you. Do you understand that? Yeah. 
Thank I'm you. not telling the money. I'm just talking about the YouTube. You know what I mean? You know what's funny though? So I, I went back. I spent predominantly all of yesterday going back because I've been watching a ton of content on YouTube now. Like it's actually one of my go-to streaming services, which I know is weird for me to say because that probably should have been me 10 years ago. But I was like, I'm really enjoying a lot of creators that I'm following these days. And I'm, and I'm finding myself at the end of the night instead of going to Netflix being like, you know what, I'm going to go to that person's channel on YouTube and see what they've done uh, new. So I've got, had to go through and you know me, my anal retentiveness. Yeah, like I wanted to purge. clean through. I got to purge all my subs. Yeah. And what's fascinating is I, I follow all these old channels that haven't like posted shit IGN in like 10 months. IGN Arena, IGN Start, all these things. And obviously the ones that have the most subs are the ones that have the viral videos. But then you go and look at a lot of the people who are just doing like the normal content like we do, and they're not they're not doing that crazy views. They're they're still they've got their their obviously their like viral video style things that they're doing that are like mm -hmm. millions, and then they go do the podcast and it's like seven thousand views. And you're like, huh. So even they have they have problems too. Yeah, makes me feel they, better. They have problems. It makes too. me feel better. Moral of the story: Look We're at, not alone. I'm not trying to solve problems. I just want to make sure everyone is as miserable as I am on a mm -hmm. daily basis. I get it. That's the way it's going to go. The uh, biggest problem is. Yeah. And I know. I, I talk to you all the time, listeners, viewers, whoever is getting this thing. I know one of you knows somebody at fucking Instagram, and I need you to get into their ear and figure out what's going on over there, who is pulling the verification strings, how this po is possible. That's a great point, Do they Greg. know Gia Tap Harris, and that's the thing? Is if, that what happened if here? You are, Favoritism? If you have, maybe. I'll handle this from here Is this on. fucking Colonel's from doing? Is he an accountant over there? No. If you are someone that works at Instagram or has some sort of poll that can get people verified, let's get me verified. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get me verified. Nick, have you even submitted your request? No, and I okay. haven't. And you, but you're talking to the person who still doesn't have a Starbucks app on his phone. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't care. I let the world come at me as it will, you know? Yeah, but you can let the world come at you a little more free. I could also let the world come at me with one free coffee every week yeah. for as many coffees yeah, as I buy. You could. There's a kid, and I forget who it is, but there's a guy in the comments every video that's like, this is your daily reminder. Just go to the just Starbucks app, do it, download dude. it, and I'm like, I'm going to do it. Just do it, man. I'm getting close to it. You just, But you should submit a verification request because there's a chance that you'll get it before Greg. God, that'd be the best. That'd be the best. Shoot, you, Greg, you want to put the belt on the line and see which one of us gets verified first? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this show, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be one of those shows. Uh, our stream, Kevin's gone. Half our technology is not working, so we're just going to have another free flow show like yesterday. Uh, no housekeeping today, but we do have two great sponsors. We are brought to you by StockX uh, and Amazon Prime Video Channels. We're going to talk about those a little later. You're a big fan of StockX.com. I am. Uh, I'm a big fan of Amazon Prime. You are. It's almost like they know us. I did. Yeah. This yeah. Is, this is working out real great. That's pretty crazy. Uh, no housekeeping. Just a quick tip reminder. If you guys want to tip us the $5 or above level or give us 500 cheers, we very much appreciate those. Uh, you could submit fun clips. We'll watch those. And if they're really, really good, maybe they'll make it into our brand new segment at the end of the week called Internet of the Week. Uh, if they suck, Cool Greg will look at me and go like this. And that means no. Speaking of cool, Greg, he doesn't want to speak ill of you. He doesn't want to insult you, but he will go like this. Cool, Greg. What were? Do we get packages? What were the packages? It was for Andy. And they also were picking something up for Andy, and he wasn't here, and I was pretty pissed about that. Hey, uh, Ignacio Rojas gave us five dollar tip and said, "Do I enjoy calling you out on not reading the comments? No. Do I enjoy calling you out on your lies? No. Is it funny? No. Why do I do it? Because I have to show people you're not perfect. That their God bleeds. Fun clip." And he gave us fun what I like about that is you didn't want to waste the five dollars by not submitting a fun yeah. clip, but you did still want to insult me, Ignacio. And the battle continues. Ignacio and Omega Batman mm -hmm. are my nemeses. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. They are the that. ones who they're basically like an extension of you mm -hmm. out there. Whenever I do something completely absurd, yeah. You and you're not look. around to call me on that bullshit. Yeah, they're they're there. there. They're right fucking there. Which I kind of like because it pounds me down into a sharp tool. You see what I'm saying? A sharp tool. I haven't seen it for years. You are as well. <laughs> <laughs> a sharp tool, Greg. I, I like your use of the word pounds. Yeah. It just takes me down to pound town. I love, oh, Jesus. The Ignacio oh Rojas thing. What is this clip that he gave us? Cool, Greg. Can you see this? I'll look it up. If it's dumb, I'm going to throw it out. All right. This might be amazing. <laughs> Just from looking at this dude in hat. Oh uh, no, the title, Ignacio, we can't play that. We can't no, do yeah, We're not gonna play do that. It. Don't play don't that. Do clip. It. Doors open. No, no, no. It's too much. We don't go in for that kind of humor here, <laughs> sir. All right. Uh Tim? Yes. There is a Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse trailer out. Hell yeah, there is. And I hear this movie's fun. 
Oh, yeah. And I don't know anything about it other than the other trailer that they've already released. But apparently this is the official trailer. So we're going to watch this. I, oh, yeah. I, don't I was making that. a joke. I'm making a joke yeah. about how they're... Oh, I thought it was the official trailer. I apologize. I mean, I thought there was one that was like teaser trailer that was eight minutes long, and this was the official trailer. There was a teaser, then there was a trailer. This it. is trailer two. Copy that. We are going to watch this now. We are going to react to this now. It is going to be super fun. Uh, I need the the thing. Uh, the remote. I can't get. It. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> You're all uh, gooch. I I can't. <laughs> You're all gooch. I'm going to try some. I know it was just too. I far. like how you acted straight without even moving. <laughs> yeah, I just turned the monitor off down there because. I want to try doing the show without staring at myself the entire time. It's one of the things I notice bothers the shit out of me when I look back. As I'm always, like, I'm always like staring down at myself because I just can't stop. I get it, dude. Once you pop, you just can't stop. Yeah, you just have What's to join everyone else looking down on What's you. What's that, Greg? That's Pringles. Damn. You're right. All right, everyone. This is the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse official trailer number two. We are watching right now. Of course, this might get cut from the show because who the fuck knows what gets cut from no, YouTube. Dude. That's part of the fun of being a YouTuber. You just don't know what's going to happen every day. I, or as great I like love, to say, a podcaster. I love us because we're just like, all right, let's spend half the show complaining that we don't get enough views. Let's also tell the live viewers that they need to go watch the YouTube version to yep. watch the whole show <laughs> and tell the YouTubers they need to watch the live yeah. version to get so, the whole Oh, yeah. Show. No wonder. It's weird. It's weird how people... Can't follow along on this fun roller coaster ride. Uh, all right, cool, Greg. Let's watch this bitch. Apologies for that word. Let's watch this trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Could have just let it what go, makes man. you different is what makes you Spider Man. My name is Peter Parker. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. I saved the city, fell in love, then I saved the city again, and again, and again. Look, I'm a comic book, a serial, I did a Christmas album, and a so-so popsicle. But this isn't about me. Not anymore. Spider-Man swings in once a day, zip zaps up in his little mask, and answers to no one. I love you, moms. Yeah, I know that. You gotta say I love you back. Dad, are you serious? I, I wanna hear it. Look at this place. Dad, I love you. Dad. I love you. That's a copy. Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miles Morales. Rupert! I'm the one and only Spider-Man. At least that's what I thought. You ever hear of the Super Collider? You're gonna love this. Dimension opening now. You're like me. That's impossible. All right, kid, listen up. This fry is your universe. It's soggy, it's weird, it's gross. And this delicious normal fry is my universe. So you want to learn to be Spider-Man. Can you teach me? Yes, I can. Time to swing. Ah, Good, doing you're doing it. it. Double tap to release and whip it out again. Okay. Whip and release. You're a natural. Whip. Hey, guys. Who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. I'm from another, another dimension. How many more spider people are there? Hey, fellas. Hello. This could literally not get any weirder. It can get weirder. Spider-Man. Okay. We need to get back to our universes soon. Brooklyn is going to collapse. My family lives in Brooklyn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Miles, what's wrong? This was never your city. It's mine. If I don't destroy the collider, none of us will have a home to go home to. Remember, what makes you different? Let's go. Is what makes you Spider-Man. Officer. I love you. <laughs> Wait, what? That way, that way. Other way, other way, other way, other way. Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak them out. <laughs> I'm so in, dude. Really great. Right? That, like, just, like, do, what did we do to deserve this? Oh, wait, we sat through six movie. fucking movies. Such a joyful movie. It's Lego Batman, but Spider Man. It's bad, it's, but it's gonna be good. You, you need to rewatch Lego Batman. You I need think that you're wrong. To sort your shit out and maybe. tell me how you got verified. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe but that's this, what's this... corrupting you from the inside out. <laughs> This has such a great Lego Batman vibe, but I just love that it's taking the the Raimi movies. Like there was the clips from one, two, and three in there, which is fucking. Wait, say that again. How's that? There was the shot of oh him of doing the doing the kiss, the, the doing thing. the train, yeah, yeah, and yeah, just great. when the car like got just thrown at him, punches the punches the cab this time rather than <laughs> mm -hmm. fucking dodge or rosemary. I say the city. I say the city again. This is cool. 
Now, what's fun for me about this is I don't, obviously, my only real connection to Spider-Man is the movies. Yeah. And the mid-90s cartoon. Mm -hmm. right? I don't know Miles Morales. I don't know the Spider-Verse. I don't know Spider-Gwen. Clearly, I did the voice for Spider-Ham. You did. And I love John Mulaney, but I'm just saying right now, John, if you're watching, you didn't nail it. Nicolas Cage is Spider-Man Noir. Let's fucking go. You were oh, that's Nick Cage. That's Nick Cage. Spider-Ham awesome. in. Uh, bring this back to reality. You were Spider-Ham in the Lego game. Yeah, I'm yeah. A I mean, I am a Spider-Ham. In, in so Lego, how you are? You in are in. in the, you're technically a character in the Spider-Verse. Have that's you been fair. invited to the premiere yet? I must have gotten lost. My invitation must have gotten lost in the mail. I know. I'll call up Jake. I guess. Yeah, our and friend. See if he's going. If he goes, maybe he can. I can be his plus one. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows, know. dude? Who knows? Uh, this looks. Freaking amazing! Yeah, I and love what the a art style What a great too. way to introduce all of the different spider people, yeah, to the mainstream audiences, which is this, this great convolute, like not convoluted, but this uh, this great like sinking point of yep. all the universes meeting in his. And I think it's houses. fucking great. I love their take on Peter too. I'm interested in like how <laughs> I love that they, he's they just go with that. Is wearing the thing, but clearly Spider Man. He's just this older. He just doesn't give a shit anymore. anymore. Yeah. Well, I, I love think, that. I think it's that in that universe they don't know he's Spider Man. So what does it matter? It's, well, he's wearing a Spider Man costume. But Spider Man doesn't exist in that universe. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Miles, uh, it looks uh, like he got his powers, and so yeah. So the whole thing's happening in Miles' universe. Presumably? It looks like a part of it is definitely happening there. Yeah, yeah. It looks like, it looks like that's the, the main chunk there. of it, but it does seem like they're bouncing around, bouncing a bit. around a little bit. Okay. Worth pointing out, of course, is many people have on the internet that if you freeze frame it in the, I think one of those things in the background when there's all the Spidey suits, the advanced suit from the Spider-Man PS4 games back there. That's really cool. This is gonna be awesome. There's so many bad guys in there too. There was, there was Kingpin, Scorpion. It looked like. Ultimate Spider-Man, uh, Green Goblin. Fuck yeah, dude. The Prowler. That's really cool. And this is coming out in December? December, well, Ooh. is it December 21st? It was, but it might have gotten moved up. Well, let's take a look, hold on. It is December 14th. Is December 14th, yeah, because originally December 21st was gonna be Spider-Verse, Aquaman, Bumblebee, and the Deadpool movie. <laughs> this is, December 14th is a much better release date for them, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. It's always hard because you, you don't, you, like everyone's off. So you're like, oh, everyone's going to see movies like around the 21st. But then, yeah, of course, there's like 15 fucking movies to see. Yeah. I always love it because it's always like uh, like the day, like Christmas, we usually see a movie. And I get to pick because no one cares. And I always pick wrong. I always pick the one everyone hates. I always pick I wrong. always pick wrong. Nick Scarpino. The Nick Scarpino story. Uh, the Nick Scarpino story. Um, Dude, oh, I'm so in though. I know. This just looks so fucking fun. I... This is everything I love about Spider-Man. What's amazing put is what's amazing and is George. you're seeing that, and then we're starting to see some like set photos and stuff. We talked about the Mysterio photo yesterday from from Far From Home and things like that. Like we're just getting so much good yeah. Spider-Man oh, yeah. now. And you're right. You said, "What did we do to deserve this?" We Six sat movies. through Spider-Man three. Six movies, and next that's week, what we we're going to sit through Venom <laughs> this week. Oh yeah, yeah. On Thursday. Me next week. You're next week. Yeah. Oh my God, have you seen some people's initial reactions of Venom? Yeah. I am, I'm actually more excited to see this movie now than I was before. Because now I want to see what kind of a train wreck it's going to be. Dude, what I don't understand from a marketing perspective is why yesterday Tom Hardy came out and was like, yeah, they cut about 40 minutes from the movie and they were my favorite 40 minutes. Don't fucking say that before the movie comes out. That's Tom Hardy That's covering his ass because he's like, this movie's not going to be good. I know it's not going to be good. So at least I can try to jump on this grenade and be like, hey, I, things I thought were awesome are in the movie. So not yeah. really on me. That's that's some bullshit though. Like that's just that doesn't help anybody. That doesn't help him get another fucking role. Yeah, Tom, I, I hate to say it, but the, the the mistake you made at the it was at the very beginning of this process where you said yes to the role. Yeah, that was that's the part where everything beyond that point is going to be a little murky. We'll see though. I mean, again, people get pissed at us when we start hating on stuff before we've seen it, and then they get really pissed on stuff when we hate on it after we've seen it. You're right. So that is that is how I will work. reserve my opinion of this. For Thursday night, we're gonna do the uh, our review of Venom, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna plug it into the MCU, or excuse me, the Spider-Man in review. So there's gonna be presumably another video we do where we do the final ranking of them all, right? But we will not go interview, over. Interview. Just so everyone knows, you gotta keep up. We probably should see it this week because we're not gonna probably go over the plot again. No. Going into that, at all. we're just going to do one video to rule them all with all six of the Spider-Man movies. Are we doing what you guys did when I was gone, where you're, we're all voting, and then you just come in and cast your final vote on the next show? No vote at all. No vote at all. Okay. It's I just, think we'll do a round. We're going to do a roundup episode where it's like the final Spider-Man and review. And that'll start with the Venom ranking. Yeah. And then that's our overall rankings. And then we'll do our individual rankings. Do, here's my question for you guys, and I don't. It's a more of a rhetorical question, but you can feel free to weigh on it because I'm, I'm vocalizing it. Uh, do you think that this will dethrone? Spider-Man 3 for 6 slot. 
I mean, it, right now there's a nice number five open. For there Venom, is a nice number five open. <laughs> so if, Venom, if the Venom film ranks below the same Raimi Spider-Man films, it'll be a travesty. I agree with that. A travesty. I really agree with that. But I also would not be surprised if it does. I wouldn't either. I would not either. My the big question is: Will this hit the Nick Scarpino popcorn test? Does this get Nick Scarpino's "This is a fun popcorn flick" seal of approval? Get a big Diet Coke, big popcorn. See, dude, th- that that scale, mm-hmm. I don't think superhero movies should be able to fit on anymore. We've mm-hmm. moved past that. You think we've moved? That's, we, you that's think we for should the dumb, fun, explosiony ex- movies and mummy. action stuff. Yeah. And then the Mummy, exactly. Yeah. yeah, superhero movies. No, they've been good enough that. It, just fine. It's like video games right now. We always talk about how like an okay video game. Not enough time. It's, I don't have time for sevens, man. Yeah, no. Everything's dude. an eight point five or a nine these days. Yeah, that's fair. And that's I fair. feel like it's the same thing with the superhero movies. Where Competition it's just like, stiff out there, man. Yeah, it can't just be like, oh, it was fun. Mm-mm. No, I totally understand that, man. I mean, look, that's the problem. Is we've seen what it can be. The yeah. problem is we've hit a better milestone. Now we yeah. have a better benchmark to which we can compare all this stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's true. It's very true. Having said that, though. We'll see if it's enjoyable. I don't know. We'll have to find Dude, out. It's going to be so bad. I can't <laughs> fucking wait. I can't wait. Did I don't you see like... the one where it was like uh, the one Twitter review? It was just like, the movie's interesting and weird and it's dark and everybody feels like they're in on that. It's a dark, realistic thing except Tom Hardy who plays this like Jim Carrey as the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen the, I saw the last trailer where they have the clip of him like scaring the guy in the liquor store. Yeah. And it's, it's supposed to be comical, but you're like, this is weird. Have you seen this? No. Uh, don't worry about it. He just likes, there's a mugger that comes in and he just falls and in, turns into fucking full on venom and the guy freaks out and runs away. Then he comes back and he's like, oh, oh I have to be to type me. And he's like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? The best about? thing the Venom movie fucking brought us is impressions it's of Tom, Tom Hardy as yep. Venom. This is 100%. Uh, all right, uh, cool, Greg. Bring up this next news story. This was brought to my attention by Greg. You know, I don't really pay attention to gaming stuff unless it has a Harry Potter tie-in. Um, and hold on, I gotta switch back to this mother. Right there, there it is. Uh, Harry Potter RPG footage apparently leaked online. Uh, this is over on The Verge. If you guys want to check it out, there was footage of this, but it got pulled down. But The Verge has uh, some gifts of it. Uh, the story reads, a video of an unannounced game set in the Harry Potter universe has leaked online via Metro. The footage has emerged then was pulled by Warner Brothers from a focus group conducted in the U.S. and claims to show a third-person open-world action RPG set in 19th century version of Harry Potter's world. Uh, the leak comes as J.K. Rowling is expanding the scope of the Harry Potter universe. Obviously, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Kicked off the saga. We got the second movie coming out. Um, this is being developed by Avalanche Software, not to be confused with Just Cause's Avalanche Studios. Uh, could be the next canonical addition to the shared universe. Now, I don't know much about games, but I do know. Cool, Greg, pop back up a little bit. Go up a little bit, up a little bit, up a little bit. Look how dope this looks. Now, the big question is, obviously, Greg's going to go uh, with Jared into uh, detail about what this means for the greater RPG world. Uh, how the ramifications of that will echo through eternity uh, for the video gamers out there. But what I want to know, and what I know you guys are all begging to know, is what does Cool Greg think about this? I'm all fucking excited, man. <laughs> you jacked? It does. It, this looks really, really good, and there's a lot more footage. Did you see the full thing, Cool Greg? Uh, if you mm. go down and you can page through the uh, images, but yeah, right now the through. trailer is hard to come by on the internet yeah. because Warner Brothers is putting copyright claims. Evidently, from the way this story is, they did a focus group and they told people don't take footage of them, but they didn't take their phones. And mm. one person was like, of course Fuck I'm going to take fucking yeah. footage of this. This is dope because uh, it's Harry Potter and fucking dope. And this looks f- awesome. And there's a lot of footage here. Like, there's a lot of different settings and different like gameplay styles and stuff going on. Like I sent this to Greg Miller last night, like the moment <laughs> I saw it. Um, and immediately everybody jumped to, oh, it's Rocksteady. Um, but looking at it, it doesn't seem like Rocksteady. You know? Uh, do you want me to chime in here? Yeah. Ruin kind of funny games daily's least. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think this is Rocksteady. I think it's Avalanche. Yeah, it's that but, thing. So of, who is Avalanche? Avalanche Studios? No, well, but it's Avalanche uh, Software, not yeah. Avalanche Studios. This article makes so the distinction. So it's not the Just Cause people, which would make sense because they're not Well, yeah, I know it's Warner not that. Brothers. It's the Warner Brothers. Because then there's Monolith who did... The Shadow of the Lord of the Rings games, right? I don't know who this Avalanche Studios is. I don't know either. The but big this looks dope. Look. And I like Avalanche this. Avalanche Software. Uh, Avalanche Sorry. Software, not Studios. Uh, I don't know. I'm jacked to this too. 
And I'll tell you right now, just the spells on the side are getting me getting yeah. me well, up in the morning. That's what people like about it, right? In terms of they keep saying that there's like a there's death, there's unforgivable spells, there's all that shit. Uh, Avalanche Software is an American video game publisher based in Salt Lake City, Utah, founded in October 1995 by four video game programmers. Uh, Disney Infinity, Disney Infinity, Disney Infinity, Cars 2, Toy Story 3. That's what's mm, on there. Interesting. IMDb. Okay. Cool, Greg. Yo. Bring those over here. Show the people. I'm jacked for this, man. Cool Greg is very excited. What do we got here? He has the oh, shit. The Harry All Potter PlayStation 2 collection. On January 24, 2017, <laughs> Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment announced that it acquired the studio from Disney, including its Octave or Octana Engine software, and reopened the studio with John Blackburn returning as CEO. Mm. The studio's first title under the new owner was Cars 3, Driven to Win, a companion game for Cars 3. Of course, this they in April, there was the rumors that uh, Avalanche here had put up uh, job postings, being like, hey, we're working on a big open world RPG. Uh, we you need to be you know you need to be like you know good with magic and British mm. lore and all this kind of shit. Like there was enough things where people like, oh, you're talking about Harry Potter. It's Harry Potter. Interesting. So yeah, it said quote a deep understanding of British culture uh, to work on an RPG with quote branching storytelling. So that was apparently the ad they put out for people to work on a game that they weren't announcing well, yet. There you go. So there you go. Also, I just don't think there's anything that defines Cool Greg more in the world than every PS2 Harry Potter game. Yeah. 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 Uh, what are these games? I haven't even seen these games. <laughs> There's a lot of... This is just a Quidditch game. This is mm -hmm. straight up just Quidditch. Quidditch woke up, baby. That's so fun. This is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix game. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, cool. I'd yeah. like to play some of these games with you one day, Cool Greg. When you Next time you do a whole lot of game shit, if I'm around, we should play some of these and hang out. Cool. I'm jacked out on Mountain Dew, man. Uh, let's quickly go... Uh, let's go to this next story, actually. This is pretty interesting. This is from yesterday. Uh, this was not the headline that... Basically, the, the gist of this was uh, the first six Star Wars movies aren't yeah. going to be streamable until 2024 on yeah. the Disney streaming platform. That's because Netflix, right? Uh, because of the rights issues with Netflix. So that's interesting. Yeah. As that puts a pretty big damper on why you would want the streaming services. Of course, you're probably going to get a lot of Marvel stuff. We've got the Marvel show that's the shows that are coming out with well, Loki. I think Marvel's stuff. also going to have a similar issue. They're going to have a big issue. So they're, they're still the movies are still coming out on Netflix now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, so this real story is if you're a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Star Wars, Pixar, Mickey Mouse, and every other classic Disney movie, chances are if you're interested in the company's upcoming streaming service, Disney Play. Sure, between Netflix, all those, yada, yada, yada. I beg you to subscribe, but Disney Play might just be the most en uh, enticing only because the House of Mouse also has a beloved franchise. Disney plans to launch the stream. No, this is not right. Yeah, so the, the interesting thing, though, is the Fox deal going through, and then. Disney will finally have the rights to A New Hope, the original theatrical cut. Right. So then that will finally be able to be put out here in 2024. <laughs> That's not going to bode well for that streaming service, but they'll they'll launch it. And they'll, they'll have enough. They'll ramp They're it up, and then when it comes, it'll be a big deal, a big old deal. Uh, I do want to quickly take a look at, I don't know if we looked at it yesterday, but the uh, that Hellboy poster from EW, because I kind of glossed over it, but... I want people to know it's cool. Mm -hmm. You've probably seen this already. This is from yesterday. Yeah, Entertainment Weekly. The new Hellboy movie uh, starring the dude, whose name I forget, from Stranger Things as, uh, as Hellboy is in it. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see the poster. Cool, great. <coughs> Pardon me. There we go. I'll tell you, I don't care about Hellboy. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much as I love Guillermo del Toro, I didn't particularly care for the first two Hellboys. Mm -hmm. The first one's a little bit weird, and the second one I thought was better, but still off. So we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Are you at all excited for mm, Hellboy? No. no. I also didn't really care too much. No. Kevin loves him. Of course Kevin loves Hellboy. Yeah. Yeah, of course he does. Yeah. Uh, David Harbour is his name. The guy who plays Hellboy. David okay. Harbour. Let's read a couple more tips. How about that? How about that? Oh, there's only one. So great. Uh, Ira, Ira Dinverse says, hey guys, I have an awesome Infinity War clip I think you might like, but did not link us to that clip. So... Jury's still out as to whether or not, we'll, <laughs> whether like or not we'll like it. But we'll, that's it right there. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to convince Gia to be Rocket Raccoon for Halloween. Rocket Raccoon. Because <laughs> Andy's going to Star Lord and he needs a rocket. Oh my God, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be, be so amazing. Good. Also, just throwing it out there, Kevin would be an amazing Rocket Raccoon too. 
but he would be more closely, he would probably look a little bit more like uh, Cartman's uh, character from Stick of Truth. Fractured Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, he you know would. Right? He would. I, feel like, I feel like he could be uh, a good um, Drax. Kevin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I just I wouldn't do that to anyone whose house he's going to because yeah. Kevin will sit He'll just everywhere. bounce everywhere and, and just bounce everywhere, everywhere and it, it, everyone will have paint on them. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, next up, we're going to give away some games real quick. Before we do that, a quick word from our sponsors, our first of which is StockX. Ever wonder how to get the hottest new sneakers? The ones that barely hit shelves? The answer is StockX, a revolutionary new marketplace for buying and selling 100% authentic sneakers, streetwear, watches, and handbags. We put this on there, and Tim yes. freaked out because you actually use StockX. Oh, man, I love StockX so much. Best way to get Jordans, best way to get uh, sneakers of any kind, really. Uh, it's a super awesome auction system. with You can sell stuff. You can buy stuff. It's super easy. Name your price, and like it just it works. It's guaranteed to be authentic because they send the shoes to StockX to verify before they send it to you, which has always been the biggest issue of buying shoes online. Um, so I'm very excited about, about all of that. Um, you can get the Jordan 1s as featured in the Into the Spider-Verse trailer if you, you so if you were so inclined. Are you they're, very bad boys? they're very expensive. Because <laughs> it was like the OG shit. So Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, guess what? They don't just sell shoes, obviously. This allows users to buy and sell pre-owned, excellent condition luxury handbags and watches from brands like Louis Vuitton, uh, Chanel, Gucci, Rolex, Omega, Tudor, and more. Uh, like Tim already mentioned, of course, mm -hmm. this is risk-free because they verify every product to make sure that uh, nothing's fake, everything's 100% authentic, super cool. Uh, Tim swears by it, and if Tim swears by it, I swear by it. Yep. Go to stockx.com slash morning. Uh, that's stockx.com slash morning. Check it out, StockX, now you know. I got my Black Cement 3s there. I got my alternate Motorsport 4s there. I plan to buy many more shoes. I'm, my Aqua 8s have seen better days, Nick. They're yeah. a little squeaky now, very squeaky now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a new pair of those things. Okay. Which before would have been a whole issue, but now StockX makes it super easy. It's easy, it's mm -hmm. easy. You know why? Because they use the same principles as the stock market to buy selling, uh, to make buying and selling as safe and easy as possible. I love the reading that's the points. Why. That's I like why, to read it. that's why, mm -hmm. that's right. Who Real -time is our other data? sponsor Real -time. today? Nick. Our second sponsor is Amazon Prime Video. Thanks to Amazon Video Channels for supporting our podcast. Prime Video Channels is an Amazon Prime benefit. Amazon Prime has a lot of benefits. We'll get to one of those other ones after this ad read. Uh, in addition to fast shipping with Amazon Prime, you can also have great entertainment delivered to you instantly through Amazon, uh, Prime Video Channels. Create a TV lineup you love from 100% premium and specialty channels like Showtime, Stars, HBO, CBS All Access, Noggin, which was the Noggin. one day yesterday, uh, PBS Kids, PBS Masterpiece, Acorn TV, and BritBox. All channels start with free trial. You can start a seven-day free trial of any of the channels you haven't tried yet. Only pay for the channels you want. Start your free trial of over 100 channels by visiting tryprimechannels.com slash kindoffunny. Uh, right now, obviously, I'm subscribed to HBO. Love HBO. Just caught up on Ballers mm -hmm. yesterday. Woo! Take, Woo! It on, take it on the SEC, I think it is. Yeah. No, not the SEC, the... Uh, What's the college football? SEC sounds right. SEC, right? Not SEC. Security no, it's EC. No, SEC is security exchange. Doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, you can get all of these channels very, very simply. Uh, if you have the Amazon, I have the Amazon video app on my PS4. I watch a ton of stuff on there. And yes, if you want to find any of the HBO content there, very easy to search, find it, start your seven day free trial right now. And uh, how would they do that? You're gonna love it. What's that? How would they start their trial? Oh, you just click on the button. Oh, that's it? Wow. That's pretty much easy. Wait, yeah. they, that, they don't need to go anywhere specific? Uh, right now, you can go to, uh, if you wanna check this out, uh, start your free trial over of over 100 channels by visiting tryprimechannels.com slash kind of funny. That's tryprimechannels.com slash kind of funny. Uh, let's see, do I have to read anything else for this? Talk about the product? No, I got all that in. I nailed, nailed it. it. I nailed, nailed it. it. The thing is, when you use it, mm -hmm. sometimes you get lost and you look back, you're like, no, I did. I nailed all the reads. All right, today's please. giveaway winner comes from the Twitch chat. Congratulations to Mickey Ruse. You have won Battle Right Royale. Cool. Battler on no, Steam. Battle Right Royale on Steam. Congratulations. Uh, of course, if you guys know, if you support the show, there are four ways to win. If you want to be a winner, you can be in the Twitch chat right now. Uh, you can be a Twitch subscriber, which is another, by the way, there's another Amazon Prime perk. You got Amazon Prime, you're like, hey, I got all the tissues delivered to my house, super free. Guess what? 
You also get one free. <laughs> yeah, it's because people always get it's, toilet yeah, paper yeah, right. delivered. I was like, you can't go out and buy toilet. I guess not. You don't have a car. You can't it's get bulk, it back. Dude, it's better. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free Twitch Prime subscription. It's very, very easy to link those two on Twitch uh, and give it to someone you think is doing a bang up job of doing the one and only morning show here on Twitch uh, from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. No. Pacific time. That's what it is. Uh, very easy. Also, you can support us out on either of our Patreons at the two dollar or above level. Uh, both of those get you entered to win. I believe we're doing another GOG today. So if you oh, missed yesterday's, uh, we and you're supporting us at the one dollar above level on Patreon. Guess what? Throw us another dollar, get entered to win, and then you can watch everything live with the pre and post show. And yesterday's pre and post show went off without a hitch. Fantastic. What's not to love? Fantastic. What's not to love? Uh, all right. I want to watch the Little Mermaid horror trailer. Yeah, let's cue it up. What the fuck is this? We just what? saw this today on the, the this side is on of Entertainment uh, Weekly. What, how old is this trailer? I don't know. We'll see it in a second. Let's just watch it. This is going to be the thing that gets September 17, today. 2018. Okay, so not Yeah, too, this not is too. another thing we might have to edit out. Yeah, we're probably going to have to edit this out. It's a minute. Let's go. This already looks terrifying. Let me tell you a story about a man. Oh, it's that guy. Game of Thrones. It's scary. There are people in this world that wish to do you harm. I'm trying to protect you. The bargain made was that the daughter of a true love would replace the mermaid when the time was right. Maybe it's time to pay the debt. It's time for the child's return. This looks terrible. Are you gonna make Gia watch this? No. Merrick music. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's the mermaid song, man. Do you know the muffin man? That was, was a muffin bullshit. Man? Muffin I didn't man. like that at all. Why are people spamming the chat with 11.45? Does that mean I'm supposed to end this show? You are not the bosses of me, Ignacio Rojas. I will end this show when I damn well please to end this show. And I will not end it before we talk to the chat. The Diet third, third. Coke one now? What, there's a Diet Coke one? I don't know. I don't understand what's happening in there. Oh, party. That is awesome. Who made that? I assume Andy. Is it a party or party? Is this... Oh, Andy, you're the best. Andy, you're the best. I love it. All right. I love it a lot. 11.45 and party. That's great. And it, well, Andrew Renee is not here, so we can go as long as we want. But we are going to wrap the show up. Yeah, let's go into the chat. Why don't you ask us some questions, chat, instead of just spamming it with party emotes. Oh, there's something I, I wanted to do in housekeeping that I forgot. Sure. There is a Reddit thread right now mm-hmm. on reddit.com slash r slash kind of funny. Yeah. All right. Um, talking about my trip to Tokyo. And potentially doing a meet and greet. Now, I didn't know if there was going to be interest in that. Because that's very far away. And I don't know how many people are in Tokyo. Yeah. Um, but it seems like there's a couple people that would be down. You'll get a few people. I'm, I am down to do that. The problem is I am going with a group of people. So I need to kind of figure out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull this up. Cool, great. Do a, to- do a meet at Tokyo Disneyland. Uh, and, and make everyone pay $300 no, so that, to get in. <laughs> that's my problem is I don't know when I'm going to have free time that I can actually do this. That's fine. But no. I'm going to talk to my group of people, try yeah. to see when is most available, and I'm going to comment on this thread, and, and then I'll make a little in- graphic are you staying, if, if this works out. If are it you doesn't, staying in Tokyo? I'm staying in Tokyo. In Shibuya? Yes. Yeah, you'll be fine then. So um, it should be fun. Even if it's not going to be that long, maybe just like an hour. Or so. When I did the one in Denmark, it was super spur of the moment, and I just picked the bar closest to the place I was staying. And yeah. Everyone, a ton of people showed up. Okay. Well, if you have interest in this, out. or if you know best friends that are in the Tokyo area, hit them up, let them know to, to reply to this so we can try to get something organized. Got it. Um, That's and fun. We'll, and we'll go from You there. should absolutely do that. Be super I, I definitely want to. It's just a matter of like the logistics of it. So, yeah. Drewski underscore 2K says, Nick, are you or are you not a Starbucks Gold member? I mean, I should be by now. I should be a Platinum member, but I don't have the app. Um, Ant-Man 0208 says, Nick, should I put $100 on Conor McGregor to win on Saturday? No. It's going to be a close fight. And if Conor gets gassed out in the third round, he's going to have a real hard time fighting Khabib. I put $1,000 on Conor last night. I was like, dude, you're crazy. Conor is a winner, and he'll find a way to win, but Khabib is a nightmare. He is a fucking nightmare. 
Uh, Nick, sorry to say the Good Fight spinoff of The Good Wife on CBS Access is very good. Why are you sorry about that? I'll, I'll, I have to have something to watch while I'm on vacation in a foreign country because CBS hates America. Uh, Nick, do a meet and greet in Sweden, says Robin GL. Robin, it'll just be you. You'll just show up and we'll make fun of your king the entire time. Which, again, I'm selling myself on this meet and greet. This does sound fun. What is this shit we're watching? <laughs> Ten kids who were raised by wild animals. This is not This is not real. This is some bullshit, dude. This is weird as fuck. I'm not <laughs> watching it. No, no, don't show it. <laughs> uh, Wasted Bandwidth says, Nick, can God microwave a burrito so hot that he himself cannot eat it? Question mark. Uh, God doesn't microwave burritos. He has Uber Eats, and he just gets that shit delivered mm. straight to his house. He's not fucking around with any frozen shit. Uh... Albino Dustin said, Nick, are you playing are you playing Spider-Man? And if so, are you enjoying it? I am playing Spider-Man. Um, I haven't gone back to it in a while though. I played like five hours you of it. You gotta just sit and dedicate. It's a good, it's a good, it's, gotta get it's good. It's a good game. It's, it's a solid, more than a good game. Good game. Like you're I feel like you're missing the magic. Oh, I'm sure miss, I'm sure I'm missing the magic. But I'm finding all the pigeons, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Let's go into sub only mode right now and we'll round this show out at 1150. You have one minute to wow me, ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't. I'm just checking to see. Oh, to see, he gave us the what? The, here's the clip I mentioned earlier. Again, the link still didn't come through. Don't know where that is. I rad and verse. Uh, back on the chat. Let's see. Omega Batman says, Nick, will your high school reunion be held at your old high school or at the nursing home where most of your former classmates reside? Now you're just insulting a Damn. whole group of people, Omega Batman. That's but it's good to see you're still alive back there. I thought for sure you would have uh, just gone and done something else with your time, but you're still here. You are still here. Uh, Tim, many recos on how to handle long-distance relationship. We are going to be apart for a year, says Richard Draken. If it's just a year, you're dude, fine. that shit's going to fly fucking by. Just make sure that you're constantly communicating and that you have planned trips to see each other. Having the, the end, the light at the end of the tunnel is the most important part. Sean Doggy brings up a very, very good point. That's my hmm. boy. He asks, and this is a trailer that I don't know how I let this slip by. Have you seen the new trailer for, for uh, the Sherlock Holmes movie with Will... Like Holmes, I think. No, I didn't. Holmes and Watson. What is it called? Uh, we are not watching this today. I think we're out. But I want to watch this. Throw this on the uh, docket for tomorrow, if you don't mind, Cool Greg. And by that, I mean I'll do it because uh, you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, we got to watch that. I'm so fucking excited for this movie. And Will Ferrell and John C. Riley are the power duo. They're almost as good as me and you. Almost. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Hey Tim, man. Didn't we have a sponsor? It was like gonna find me love. Whatever happened with that? On that wonderful note, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're gonna wrap, we're gonna end this show today because it's not gonna get any better than it's that. It's not gonna get any better than that. We'll keep we need to find Cool Greg Love. Yeah. <laughs> what was it though? eHarmony. eHarmony. Yeah. One day. When, when eHarmony wants to sponsor eHarmony, if you're watching this right now, or if anyone works at eHarmony, record this message and let's get it to the people that buy ads on sites like this. We will go deep. <laughs> on finding Cool Greg, the mate of his life, on eHarmony. We will only exclusively, he doesn't have any other apps installed on his phone. There's no, we don't even, we don't even list competing apps, but there's no Tinder, there's no Grindr, there's no Bumble, there's no fucking Just Lunch, none of that stuff. He's not banging with any of that stuff, but he will bang with eHarmony, if you know what I'm talking about. God, that was a good sales pitch. That was good, that I was mean, really was like, good. How fun would it be to be, do a series, though, sponsored by eHarmony, where we just chronicle Cool Greg's dating life for like a month? My God, that would be that so would be fun. The greatest thing of all time. Cool Greg sits down with the girl. I just imagine the scene. He sits down. Question number one: You fuck with Harry Potter? And if she says no, he gets up and leaves. We out. Bolts. He uh, whatever it calls. He just apparates. Yeah, <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, of course, thank you so much for joining us live. Sorry for the beginning of the show. Had a couple technical issues, but uh, we pushed through them like always. If you want to see that beginning, go over to youtubecom funny and click on this video. It'll be uploaded in a couple hours. Uh, we appreciate those of you who do watch this and then go to that to comment and continue to keep the conversation going. The word of the day is bonkers. bonkers. If you have nothing better to put, put bonkers. If you want to talk about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and how cool it looks, let's talk about that too. That's probably more productive than bonkers. But if you're just completely and totally unimaginative and you just want to come to give us a view and support the show, bonkers it is. I'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. PT. Until then, I love you. Cool, Greg, please cut the feed. <laughs>